Well, we all remember when the pandemic first struck and city, states and tribes are all scrambling to procure PPE, personal protective equipment for their citizens and healthcare workers. One tribe, which considers itself the largest in the United States, got proactive to produce their own PPE. And as Ethan Pierce reports from Northeast Oklahoma, that tribe has been more than willing to share. And then I want you to write three synonyms. Janelle Brewer is the school nurse at the Dahlonega K-8 school located in Adair County. Her school has a plentiful supply of masks that are helping protect students and allow for in-person learning instead of virtual learning. I think it's very important for our students and our staff here. We've had several kids that, are, that have been ill with it along with staff members and things. So for safety and for the health of our community, we really need to be wearing these masks. Running Bear Grimmett is a sixth grader who has witnessed the effects of the virus in his own home. My mom had COVID and she had seven day symptoms. So she had stayed in her house for a while. Boxes of masks are available by every door. It's become part of the daily routine at Dahlonega schools. Walking through the building, I grab one and I'll wear it for the rest of the day. We have them on the school buses. When the children get on, they, they get the mask, put them on, and uh, they wear them. And uh, it's mostly their choice. When this first started, we, we made our own mask, you know, when that became the, the thing. But Cherokee Nation has provided so many masks and so many things for us to be able to, to keep our kids here and be able to take care of them like we need to. You see, these masks come at no cost to the school. They're a gift from the Cherokee Nation. In September 2020, the tribe dedicated $38 million in CARES Act funding to build their own PPE factories, including this 27,000 square foot facility housed in a former Walmart store in Stillwell. We took this building and transitioned it to our now PPE manufacturing facility. Cherokee Nation Chief of Staff Todd Enlow says the tribe will manufacture N95, N99, and three-ply surgical masks. N95 masks are the industry standard for healthcare professionals. The N99 mask is even better, filtering out 99% of all airborne particles. In a single shift, we could uh, produce somewhere around 200,000 masks across all of our machines uh, in, a, in a day. So right now we've got about 16 employees that work here in this facility. When we grow it to full capacity, we'll be somewhere around 30. And many of those employees have been hired with the help of the HOPE and the Restore HOPE grant programs. HOPE program is really designed for those family members or individuals that have suffered from opioid addiction and had issues with job placement. These are individuals that might have lost their job or lost hours and, and therefore had their pay cut. Dakota Fixon is one of the beneficiaries of the program. For a year I didn't have a job and the Restore program, you know, kind of put me in this place, you kind of keep your chest up high. You know, you're doing, if you do a good job, you know that you're helping out a lot of people. I became an employee with the HOPE program with Cherokee Nation, and I started in March, and then I received full-time July 4th of this year. The Cherokee Nation also has a 6,000 square foot facility in Holbert, Oklahoma, that will eventually house 12 additional mask making machines. And so we've created about five to seven jobs there uh, with that operation in Hulbert as well. The Cherokee tribe has donated PPE to almost 40 community organizations that are located within their reservation boundaries, including domestic violence shelters. So far we've had a, a request from about five or six schools, uh, Hulbert being the first community that we donated masks to. Uh, today we'll be donating some additional masks to Delonaghy School here in Adair County. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a big lesson that we try to teach our children, that we have to take care of each other. It makes us feel like our tribe, our chief, our counselors, our whole government, they really care for us. I would highlight that. That's going to be important. Ethan Pierce, The Oklahoma News Report.